Hello and welcome to Castanet Sports TV. I'm Wayne Moore. It's my pleasure to have in studio with us this afternoon or today, the head coach of the Kelowna Rockets, Ryan Husker. Ryan, welcome. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks for having me. Been an interesting season, been a very good uh, season, unexpected uh, season for the Rockets this year. Um, 31 wins last year, 76 points, a 36 point improvement, a 20 win improvement. Did you see this coming? Uh, not to the extent it did. Um, we felt at the beginning of the year we'd see some nice improvements with our hockey team. Our, our defense was a year older. We thought they'd be able to handle themselves a little bit better. And um, with Colton returning as a captain for a second year, we thought our leadership group would be a little bit stronger. But uh, we didn't expect the run that we had where we won uh, uh, the 23 games in a row at home in the, I think it was 19 in a row without a regulation loss. We didn't expect that type of run. Um, but it's funny when you get into one of those situations or one of those years, it feels like it's okay if we're down, we're still coming back to win and that's kind of the feeling that our group had all year long. You talk about those 23 straight wins at home, uh, 31 in total. Last year it was 16, so you basically doubled that. Um, that was something you wanted to do. Uh, you've said on a number of occasions you wanted to improve the play at home. Yeah, it, it was important for us and when you look around our league, um, no matter which team it is, if there's any team that has any success, they have a good home record. And over the years, we've always had that home record at home. The last couple of years, it slipped. And we talked to our players about bringing that pride back into our, our dressing room and making sure that Prospera becomes an uncomfortable place to play. And I think our players did a wonderful job at that this year in making sure they were prepared to play every time they came on the ice. Heading into the season, we, you knew it was going to be a tough start, um, or could be potentially, with you know the back-to-back -back games of Portland, Victoria. Uh, Prince George, a long road trip in Alberta, so many road games uh, to start the season. Um, it was a bit of a struggle, uh, but things turned around. Yeah, I, I think the one that comes to mind uh, is a game in Medicine Hat, I guess. I, leading up to that, I thought we played some pretty good hockey. We didn't get the results every night, but I thought our players were playing well. But there was a night in Medicine Hat where um, we had upwards of 60 shots on net, and we ended up losing that game in a shootout. But I thought... Uh, we dominated that game and it kind of left you with the feeling that maybe we have something pretty special here. And I think probably the other moment um, maybe that kind of solidified the belief in our group was the game at home against Kamloops when they had their undefeated streak uh, at the beginning of the year and we were able to stop that by winning our game at home. And I think that was something that maybe brought the belief to our players. But as far as coaches, I think it was probably medicine happening. Ryan heading into this season. Um three acquisitions that, uh, that the team made, and you, you never know how they're going to mesh together, but uh, three players Bruce picked up, uh, uh, Dylan McKinley, uh, Cody Fowley, and, and JT Barnett. How did they work out? Typically, we're a team that likes to develop our players, and we want them to be our leaders at 20, but we were in a situation because of a couple injuries to Spencer Main and Mitchell Chapman that we needed the older bodies and the experience that 20-year-olds bring. And um, Dylan McKinley came in, um, was our first guy that we brought in, and we were... Um, thrilled with what he's done over the course of the regular season. He's done everything and more that we've asked of him. He was the only guy that managed to play 72 games for us. Uh, and he played through some bumps and bruises, and that goes a long way when your 20-year-olds are doing that. Then we found JT Barnett was another guy that um, went through some injury trouble the years prior, um, was kind of moved around from a few teams, and I think he looked at this as kind of a, maybe his last chance to play, and, and, and he's rewarded us for trusting him that he would bring his best effort and he's done a great job as well. But the one guy that I think um, really solidified our team was Cody Fowley, and surprising that he was available for us to pick up. He was playing in Vernon at the time, and we wanted an extra body to go on that Alberta road swing, and Cody came with us, and our coaches felt after about three or four days that there's no chance that we could let this guy go. He's got some great leadership characteristics to him, uh, and I think he was one of the big reasons why Colton had the support from all of our other players in our dressing room as well. 14 players with 10 or more goals, 16 players with 20 or more points, and 20 players on the roster with 10 or more points. Um, that has to please you in the fact that you don't have to count on one guy, one line, one group to do it night in and night out, that everybody's contributing. That's a great thing for coaches. You know, it's, it's not easy to coach against when you can't really match up against one or two lines when there's four lines that can compete. But I think if you're asked, Dan and, and myself, the most thing we're most proud of over the course of the year is that we have a group of guys that everybody feels like they're a part of things, that they have some level of ownership in what we're trying to do and that on any given night they can be a difference maker for us. That being said, Colton Sissons is your captain. Um, he's unquestionably your leader on and off the ice. Yeah. You're heading into the playoffs without him. Mm -hmm. um, big blow. Yeah, it, it, there's no doubt it's a big blow. 
um, when you lose a player of his stature both on and off the ice it's it's going to be a challenge for our group but I think one of the reasons why we wanted to I guess be honest with and upfront with it with what was going on with Colton is we wanted to kind of deal with it and move on from it with our group um, but the wonderful thing about our our team this year is we've had everybody that's played in every situation and I think over the the stretch that he's gone here I our challenge is not to one or two players on our team. We've challenged the whole 20 guys that are going to be in the lineup, but they have to do a little bit more to pick up his slack. And I think uh, a lot of our players are going to look forward to that challenge, and I think it's a great opportunity for them in that regard, as well as some guys in that leadership category. Um, how are the lines going to change, or how is the centre position going to change uh, top line and then moving down? Um, well, we've used a lot of different guys throughout the middle over the course of the year, so I think there will be a little trial and error as we move forward here. But... Um, I think you'll see a lot of the same patterns, I guess, that you saw throughout the regular season. We'll just in inject a few different people as we move along. How exciting is this right now? Very. You know, 72 games is a long training ground, I guess, to get to the, to the position that you want to be in. And now we're in that position where we're ready to start our playoffs here. Uh, and our players are looking forward to it. We're excited about it. I think it's going to be a great challenge here against Seattle, and I'm looking forward to see our our players play. Playoff series beginning tonight against the Seattle Thunderbirds. Ryan, my last question for you regarding the playoff series. What do you need to do to have success against this team to move on to the second round? The thing that made our team special was our work ethic uh, and the ability to have all four lines going. And I, I think that's going to be something that's going to be important for us against Seattle. They have a very big team. They have a lot of uh, quality players on their team. Uh, and in order for us to have success, we're going to need to use our depth to our advantage and make sure we're doing that for the full series. Games one and two in the first round series, Friday night, Saturday night at Prospera Place, the Kelowna Rockets and the Seattle Thunderbirds. Ryan, good luck and congratulations on the regular season. Thank you very much, Wayne.